Hey everyone, I'm Travis Spivey, joined with my son, Jordan Spivey, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our awesome science videos. Today's video is part two of a two-part series where we cover two of the four major sources of evidence of evolution. The four major sources of evidence of evolution are the fossil record, embryology, comparative anatomy, and molecular biology. In the last video, we covered the fossil record and embryology. In this video, we will cover comparative anatomy. So, so let's, let's do this. this. Our learning target for today is, I can explain how comparative anatomy provide evidence for the evolution of species over time. Comparative anatomy is the study of the similarities and differences in the structures of different species. Similar body parts may be homologous or analogous, both provide evidence of evolution. Let's first answer the questions, what are homologous, analogous, and vestigial structures, and how do they provide evidence of evolution? Homologous structures are structures that are inherited by two different organisms from a common ancestor that have the same structures but different functions. These structures may or may not have the same function in the descendants of the common ancestor. Look at the following diagram. It shows the hands of several different mammals. Notice that they all have the same basic pattern of bones. They inherited this pattern from a common ancestor. All of these mammals, humerus, radius, ulna, and carpal bones are relatively similar. However, their forelimbs or metacarpals and phalanges now have different functions. Humans' metacarpals and phalanges are for grasping objects, cats and horses are for walking and running, bats are for flying, and dolphins are for swimming. To sum it up, homologous structures are similar in structure which provides evidence that these organisms evolved from a common ancestor. But these structures are often different in function. So a few questions. First, why are the structures in this diagram considered homologous? Second, how does this show evidence of evolution? And third, are the functions of these structures the same? Analogous structures are body parts of the organisms that share a common function or job but not the same structure. Organisms with analogous structures do not have a common ancestor. For example, look at the appendages of the shark, penguin, and dolphin in the following diagram. Notice how the bone structures are different, but they all serve the same function for each of the animals, which is to help them swim. The shark, penguin, and dolphin appendages are similar in function, but not in structure because as stated before, they do not share a common ancestor. Question. What evidence do you have that shows organisms with analogous structures do not have common ancestors? To sum it up, homologous structures are similar in structure because they do share a common ancestor, but not similar in function. Analogous structures are similar in function, but not similar in structure because they do not share a common ancestor. Look at the following example. Both the cat leg and the praying mantis leg are analogous because they have the same function for walking but are different in structure because they do not have a common ancestor. A cat is an animal, a praying mantis is an insect. They have extremely different ancestors. The cat leg and the whale flipper are similar in structure because they do share a common ancestor but are different in function. Cats use their legs to walk and run, whales use their flippers to swim. The whale flipper and the water boatman flipper legs share the same function for swimming, but they have different structures because they do not share a common ancestor. Vestigial structures are structures that at one point served a purpose in organisms, but as organisms evolve, they no longer serve a purpose in the organism's bodies. Let's take a look at some examples in humans. Currently, our appendix, goosebumps, and wisdom teeth are among a few examples of vestigial structures of the human body. The appendix is a small pouch attached to your large intestine. It is a tiny remnant of a once larger organ. In a distant ancestor, it was needed to digest food. But if we fast forward to today, the 1 in 20 people who have had their appendix removed never seem to miss it and live normal, healthy lives. Goosebumps once served a purpose in our bodies to let us know we were cold and to make our hair stand on end to make us appear larger than we are to escape predators. 
Goose marks are no longer needed, largely because we have nowhere near as much hair as our ancestors had. Our entire bodies were covered with hair, but most humans today don't have nearly as much hair. Notice I said most humans. Our wisdom teeth were once needed because our jaws were much larger and we needed more teeth to tear and grind tougher foods in the past. But now our jaws are smaller and we have much more effective ways of cooking food that makes breaking our food down much more simple. I have a few questions. First, why do you think a person can have their appendix and wisdom teeth removed and still live a normally fully functioning healthy life? Second, why do you think structures that are no longer used shrink in size? Third, why might a full-size unused structure reduce an organism's fitness? Pause the video and think parents share your answers to these questions with your teacher. And that's our video for today. Now let's test your knowledge to see how proficient you are with explaining how comparative anatomy provides evidence for evolution of species over time by taking our video quiz. Use your electronic device to scan the QR code at the bottom right of the screen, or you can click the link in the description box below the video to take the quiz. Remember, 80% or higher for proficiency, record your results on your proficiency sheet, and if you don't get it the first time, you better keep going because it's not over until you win. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and also click the bell icon to the message on any of our awesome videos. Peace, and have a positive, productive day.